Okay, well, you tell King Hiss that he had better have his differences worked out with Tongue Lasher before the banquet, because I will be damned if I'm going to redo the seating chart this late in the game. Yeah, thank you. Talk to you later. Beast Man, how are you? Hello, Skeletor. Walk and talk with me. I've got racquetball in 15 minutes. Racquetball? Yes, racquetball. Why, why the hell does everyone act so surprised when I tell them I've been playing racquetball? Oh, I didn't mean to say It doesn't matter. What did you want to talk about? Well, I had just heard a rumor, and I wanted to know if it was... I didn't even know we had racquetball courts at Snake Mountain. Well, we do. Okay, all right. Anyway, the rumor is that you've appointed Faker to be your most trusted assistant. Not a rumor, my friend. You appointed Faker. That's right. Faker, the psychotic mass murderer. No, I appointed Faker, the butcher, to be my most trusted assistant. I'm going to take advice from a butcher. He's psychotic. Yeah? And a mass murderer. Uh Uh-huh. Either one of those by itself would be a reason to imprison him for life. Instead, he's both of them. And you've rewarded him by making him your most trusted advisor? That's right. A title that by its very name implies that you trust him. Well, it would just be ridiculous of me to appoint someone that I didn't trust to be my most trusted advisor, wouldn't it? But why do you trust him? Well, let me ask you a question. Why don't you trust him? He's a psychotic mass murderer. Who got a job that I may have had my eye on? No. No rest of that sentence. My sentence ends with murderer. I think you may be overreacting. I mean, did he personally murder your family? My cousin, yes! Hmm. Wasn't expecting that. But so it wasn't a mass murder of family members then. It doesn't matter. One admitted murder is too many. Still, I I wouldn't hold your cousin's murder against him. He probably doesn't even remember doing it. I know! Because he's psychotic! Well, I was going to say he wouldn't remember it because there's been so many other murders he's committed just like it, but yeah, it could be a little from column A, column B type of thing. (laughs) It's just that I'm a little concerned for the well-being of our empire. Would you relax? Nothing's going to change. I'm still calling the shots. Really? Well, if I may, I'd like to read to you the agenda from last week's evil council meeting before you appointed Faker. Go ahead. Item one, Panthor's new cat food. Item two, where Stinkor, the evil master of odors, sleeps when he's in town. Item three, how much we hate He-Man. Item four, look, there are 19 separate items on this agenda. That was a productive meeting. Now here's the agenda for this afternoon's meeting. Item one, strategies for increasing our mass murdering. That's a coincidence. It's the only agenda item. It's a direction I've been wanting to go in for a long time. Faker is manipulating you like a puppet. Well, you know what? Maybe he is. I know he lets me beat him at racquetball. But sometimes, it just feels good to win, Beast Man. Sometimes it just feels good to win. Well, Skeletor, I didn't know that you felt that. Hey, what is He-Man doing in here? My sworn enemy in my own castle? I better alert the guards. (laughs) I'm just messing with you, Faker. How the hell are you? You know Beast Man, of course. Beast Man, good to see you. Sorry about your cousin. Well, see? He remembered. Actually, I just say that to everyone. Odds are I've probably mass murdered your cousin. <laughs> Can you believe him? Hey, loser buys dinner again? I don't know, man. If you're serving like you did last week, you're going to put me in the poorhouse. <laughs> I love this guy. So, uh, what do you think we should do about the rock people? I- I'm tempted to make them sign a treaty, but I'm not sure if that's really the best thing for the Empire. What a crappy character. What a crappy character.